Well, good afternoon. I have the enviable position of following lunch. I hope you're still awake. Um, my name is Paul Smith. I'm with uh, ABB Power Electronics, um, formerly GE. Um, this happened about a month ago. We're now uh, f officially part of um, ABB. I'm going to give you an update on this um, true three-phase 380 to 480 volts AC to 48 volt DC shelf, which we've uh, contributed. Just to uh, formalize that, uh, we expect no real change as a result of changing from GE to ABB, other than uh, uh, probably more, more support of OCP since, uh, since our position is now somewhat uh, more finalized. Um, but as far as uh, the rest of our business, it's business as usual. The name, on the name over the door has changed, but that's about all. Um, and we're expecting increased growth and, uh, um, and investment, which uh, GE was, was rather reluctant to, uh, to do. In terms of the, um, the power shelf that we've put together, um, just as a summary, the submitted document that's already in the, uh, in the pipeline is uh, a true three-phase 380 to 480 volts uh, AC input uh, power shelf. It's uh, four modules. Each of those is six kilowatts. Um, each power shelf has its own um, control system, which is able to communicate through, uh, through an Ethernet connection um, to, uh, to any other control systems within the, within the, unit, within the facility. Um, it's fed with a single 50 amp AC whip cord, uh, which can plug into an overhead um, gantry or whatever the, uh, the feed mechanism is. We think that uh, 480 volts is a pretty, pretty ubiquitous in most, uh, in most buildings, so it's uh, fairly, fairly straightforward. And that may well be, a, uh, the size of that connector may well be a, a break point for different power levels that uh, we were talking about in the discussion earlier. Um, it drives the 48 volt bus through uh, bus bar clips rather than the, the bolted panels. So this thing can go any, in the rack anywhere. Uh, it's not limited to the, uh, the positions on the bus bar which have the, uh, the bolt, bolting positions. Um, 24 kilowatts for a, for a non-redundant system, obviously six kilowatt increments. It can be, it can be configured with uh, N plus one with uh, 18 kilowatts if that's what's, what's desired. Um, in terms of changes from, from the last version, we've done some internal changes. Um, we're now buying a, a pre-assembled uh, power module connector, um, which is fairly transparent to the, uh, to the user. Um, we just submitted an updated CAD file, uh, minor changes um, to, the, to the rail compliance. And then we'll be changing the, um, the written specification very shortly just to include this drawing with the outside dimensions, which has slightly changed, not, uh, not significantly. Um, we're hoping that uh, we're going to get some increased uh, interest. It's been somewhat limited to date. Um, be interested to know why that is, if, uh, if anybody's got any feedback as to whether they think this is a, a viable um, <clears throat> powering scenario or not. We think that the 380 to 480 volts uh, three-phase AC is a better alternative than uh, 380 volts DC, simply because the I2R losses are lower, and you also don't have any new or high-voltage DC um, interrupters or, or switch gear to contend with. In terms of next steps, uh, we're looking at a battery module, which we actually already have uh, in a slightly different format. So it's really just a format change. Um, can be done in either one or two rack units high. Um, again, delivering power through the, through the, the bus clips onto the, uh, onto the bus bar so that battery modules can go anywhere in the, uh, in the system too. Uh, we've got a version which uh, weighs about 40 pounds for a one rack unit um, implementation using lead acid batteries. Uh, and we're looking at about um, 3.8 kilowatts for a minute. Now that varies a little bit in terms of the, 
the power depending on how rapid a discharge you want or how long you want to support the, support the system. And we're also looking at some other battery chemistries. Again, interested in knowing what sort of, um, um, what sort of interest is in that sort of uh, configuration. And then another one is we're also looking at the possibility of doing a true three-phase 380 to 480 volt, 12-volt uh, module. This would, um, because of the increased current, uh, we're anticipating using a three-rack unit module, which would include two rack units worth of battery and one rack unit worth of um, converter modules. Suspect that they will be a little less than six kilowatts per module just because of the increased current, but um, we still think that we can get uh, probably three to four kilowatts per module uh, in a 12 volt version. And again, because of the, because of the high current that uh, limits what you can do. In this particular scenario, we would have 48 volt batteries within those modules um, with 48 to 12 volt um, down converters for battery voltage regulation um, with a 12 volt battery. Uh, achieving the 12 volt regulation is a little difficult on discharge, so a 48 volt battery would, uh, would help with that. Uh, and again, we're, we're assessing interest on, on that as a contribution as well. And that's my update for this time. Uh, thanks for your attention. Any, uh, any questions or feedback on any of that? Sorry, I can't hear you. <laughs> the rack width of this is a double double in 19 inch. Um, it could be. The the current version is not 19 inch. It's the it's the OCP rack mm. width. Okay. Um, but we have a version which is uh, which is made for a 19 inch rack. Yes. Uh, but that's a standard one rack unit, 19 inch <coughs> rack, uh, with two modules. And then we can build, build multi-shelf modules with those units if that's something that's of interest, yeah. Okay. Hi, Paul. Uh, can yeah. you go back to the previous slide for the uh, next step of the 12 volt round? So right now on your roadmap, are you only uh, targeting to build the, okay. Three are you including two are you? So what's the maximum uh, power comp capacity for this one so far? Well, we're not quite sure yet until we get the till till we get some results on the on the rectifier. We know that we're not going to be able to convert our six kilowatt module, and this would essentially be in the same form factor as the six kilowatt forty eight volt module. Uh, but we're not sure what sort of power we're going to be able to get at twelve volts simply because of the the higher current and the and the implications that have on the on the module design, but we're anticipating probably eight kilowatts in that three rack units. But that's including the battery. And the reason we're proposing to do it this way is that the bus clips have limited capacity. And if you put all of those in in terms of current capacity, so if you put more power in that three rack units, you can't get it out through the bus clips. So the idea is to combine those three rack units and use three sets of clips, but only have one set of modules and then two sets of batteries. Since you've got to put the batteries somewhere anyway. Understood. So in your current design, does that imply, um, does that imply to only one bus bar design or three bus bar can work with that too? There's no reason why it couldn't work with a, with a three bus design. Both of our, our existing module and this proposal are currently going down a single, single bus bar track, but um, with interest in a three bus bar module, I don't, I don't think that's difficult to do. Thank you. Again, if, you know, if, the, feed, if the feedback comes that everybody's interested in doing this with a three, three bus, that's, that's a change in direction that we can very easily make. Okay, thank you very much.